Good afternoon, everybody. Um, myself and Neil out again this afternoon. We've got some lovely general game out here on the clearings. Uh, zebra just behind me heading down to the water hole to have a drink. Uh, and behind him, there's a nice big giraffe bull heading down. Um, we're definitely going to try and follow up on uh, the wild dogs a bit later. But for now, let's enjoy these guys. A sneaky little buffalo bull there just uh, came out of the mud wallows in the middle of the clearing. We didn't even notice him until he was almost at the tree line. So. No idea what my settings are like right now. <laughs> just as I saw that pale back and I thought, what the hell? A lovely warm afternoon like this it's not uh, atypical to find animals uh, in and around the waterhole lucky enough to bump into this lovely little little breeding herd of elephants and quite a few uh, nomadic bulls as well cruising around Uh, so always, always lovely spending a bit of time with these gentle giants. Um, what a wonderful way to spend the afternoon or much of the afternoon. Lovely animals.
couple of wildebeest bulls there having a bit of a scuffle. Didn't look particularly serious. Um, that was cool. So we're back with the dogs um, now. At this time as the sun's starting to set and we may see them starting to get a little bit more active. Uh, those hyenas in the background have been giving them a bit of hassle just as we arrived. Um, so it's a good indication that uh, well, it's probably going to prompt the, the wild dogs to get up soon now and start going hunting. Probably first shoot down to the water pool, uh, the water hole and have a little drink. Um, and then certainly uh, head off hunting after that. But you'll see as they get up and start get, uh, to get going, you'll see them start to get together and sort of psych each other up, give each other all, all a high five and let's, let's get going, let's do this. I think this is the moment we've been waiting for. Animals starting to get active, start playing, start psyching each other up. Uh, some of the some of the more juvenile members trying to beg for food from the adults. Alright, the pack are on the move now, uh, heading in a northeasterly direction across the clearing. On our way in we actually passed some impala and some wildebeest. Um, just just up ahead of them so this could get interesting let's follow them and see we're gonna have a drink first so as i mentioned earlier heading down towards the waterhole first to have a quick drink and then get hunting after that As the dogs are moving through the grass um, on their way, try and find some impala or some kudu or something else to hunt. Now they'll often pick up the scent of maybe a millipede or some eggs or something like that and they'll just quickly chomp it and then carry on so that even if they don't become successful this afternoon, uh, at least they've had some kind of little snackaroo along the way. Alright, so... <laughs> uh, bit of a different turn there um, the wild dogs went into that very thick block that you saw us heading towards and it's definitely one of the worst uh, thick areas that we have on our concession um, we've been waiting on the other side for a while now um, but here they come <laughs> here they are <laughs> <laughs> well that was <laughs> just as we were about to kind of close <laughs> Close the sighting, boom, there they are. Uh, animals. They're funny.
Well, it is still very thick. Luckily, we've got the road here. And the light is getting a bit bad. And with wild dogs, we cannot shine them with a spotlight on the dark. So we're not going to be able to follow them for too much longer. Um, but we will try in the morning as well, uh, definitely to catch up with them and see what happens. 